Hi, I'm Gail Casper, professional speaker, mentor, and coach. So many people don't realize what it is they're capable of accomplishing in their lives, whether they're experiencing a challenge, going down the wrong path, or they get stuck. It takes guts to go after a goal. In a moment, I'm going to introduce you to two people from different walks of life with similar challenges. We're going to find out which one has got the guts to step up, overcome their fears, and make drastic changes in their life. We're going to find out which one's got more stones. This is about changing how you live. It's about taking steps in the right direction and taking action towards those steps. Your end, you're eating the wrong foods, you're not staying in shape, you're smoking. So, you know, you wanting to be on the right track and being here today, is that bullshit? What does it really take to achieve a goal? From what I've learned in my 10 years as a business and life coach who's helped thousands of people, it's all about who's got more stones. This program is a competition. It pins two people against each other to see which one is willing to step outside of their comfort zone to achieve. Every day I wake up, I expect to win, you know. I'm losing, failure is not an option in this. I'm all about winning, I'm very competitive, and I hate to lose. I have full faith that I am going to win this because I'm always underestimated, I'm the quiet threat, nobody really looks at me as a threat, and then all of a sudden I step in the middle and bam! It may be man against woman, generation against generation, mother against daughter, friend against friend. The demographics are endless. You're just staying right here. You're spinning in a circle. You're not going outside of it because if you go out here, well, you might fail. And I see it all too often. People don't step outside of the comfort zone to try different things, to take a risk, to put themselves in a scary position. And if they do, they stop because they failed. What makes this program different is that it not only sparks the competitive edge and drama. I mean, you're huffing and puffing after like one. All right, what's going on? Whoa, whoa, you know? whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, let's, what's going on here? Well, I mean, personally, Gail, I think, I really don't feel uh, that this competition is really being called, you know, right down the middle. What, what do you mean? What's going on? What's going on? He's upset well, that I've won the, the fitness challenge because I'm not as fit as him, but I challenged I mean, I myself. Felt, I just felt that I performed better than she did in, in that fitness challenge, and I also thought that I performed much better in this last challenge as well. The fact that she cried and she started having to run a little tears, and you all felt sorry for her. The other guy hey, felt sorry for, sorry for her. Nick, got to be able to handle so you can step it up. This is about where we are right now and getting better. That's with whatever we have. There isn't somebody that's smarter, that knows more, that does more. This is about a starting point. And well, this fine. competition, in, in the scheme of things, when it comes to life, it's this big. What? What is this funny to you? You think this is funny? This is not a game. Is your life funny? What are you doing here? Why did you come here? If this is not serious to you, what are you doing here? I came here to win, Gail. Well, then why don't you act like a winner? Because that's what you need to do. But it also changes lives and mindsets as each candidate works to break bad habits and create positive new ones. All right, so what does this teach us, too, about uh, choices between positive and negative choices? What would the negative choice have been this morning? Sleeping. Not to go. Not to go. Good as the host and mentor, I challenge them in ways they never thought were possible. I really push them to the limits to see what they're capable of doing. Good morning, sleepyhead. Hey. It's time for your wake-up call. No, how about a cigarette now? You want a cigarette now? There are three challenges plus a final challenge. Now, the types of challenges will vary from program to program depending on the problems of each candidate. Let's visit Nick and Michelle. What you'll see is that they were sabotaging their ability to achieve their goals. They both failed to see the value of the life they had. They struggled with fitness, and they were stuck in their fears. Well, honestly, like I said, I'm unemployed. Uh, but I live with my parents, so I live at home. They do give some money to me as well if, I'm, uh, you know, if I do need it. If I don't get out of this rut, I just see myself getting depressed. And who knows what can happen then. Their challenges were personal awareness, visiting both a homeless shelter and an animal shelter, a fitness challenge, and a fear challenge, where they faced their biggest fear, spiders. 
Since both of them had an objective to either find a job or get a new job, their final challenge was to network and solicit as many names as they could, getting follow-up dates and times to contact people for a job opportunity. They are talking to as many people as they can, trying to get names, contact information to find that new job opportunity. And they're getting no's, but welcome to life. That's what this is all about. They've got to expect to put in the effort to get the results. It's the way it goes. In other episodes, challenges might include a quit smoking challenge, an eating right challenge, a career challenge, an education challenge, or a personal development challenge. But every show will have a fear challenge. Shell's right behind us. And it's not the same thing. Right. right. We're in a completely different place right now. And it's a safe place. It's a very safe place. Shaken. Well, you invited. If you asked me to come. Candidates are graded on their knowledge, skill, and attitude. With the winner of each challenge awarded a single stone, and the final challenge worth three stones. By the end of the program, the person who's got more stones is the winner and is awarded a $25,000 prize that helps them to further reach their life's goals. Guest coaches on the program will not only provide the knowledge during the task, but will also monitor the candidate's attitude and skill set to help determine the winner. In the end, who's got more stones helps candidates develop a lifestyle that will lead to the success they really want. Well, like I said, it was very intense, you know, it's, and I mean, Gail, she was, she's just so knowledgeable, you know, it's like you got, you got to try and keep up with her. You realize that what I'm doing now, you know, I got to start doing these things and, you know, and not, and not do what I'm, what I'm doing right now. It's given me a new way to think about how I do my normal activities and why I do them and why I shouldn't do certain things and it's given me hope. Number one is I got a job. I can work a full, it's a full time job, uh, base salary, uh, benefits. I've actually been starting to uh, pick up, pick up uh, a couple books. I've been reading a little bit more. I think, you know, taking those risks, um, you realize a lot about yourself. You realize that, all right, you know, if I can do this, I can do, you know, just about anything. I have continued not to smoke. I've been using Gail's techniques and um, I went to my bosses and I told them that there's a chance I might be looking elsewhere. Then they called me in the office and they said, well, we've been talking about this anyway. And they gave me a small promotion with a little bit of a raise. My family notices that I'm happier and that, you know, I seem more sure of myself. In fact, my husband even did tell me, you know, he's like, you're back to kind of who I first met and everything, so. Now, I've got a couple of concerns here. Nick, on your end, I'm a little bit concerned that tomorrow morning you're going to be up at 10 a.m. and the follow-through isn't going to be there. Michelle, I'm a little bit concerned that you're going to be caught up in the circle of the everyday life and you're going to go back to that circle. I've made my decision. The winner, the person with the most stones, Nick. If you want to challenge yourself to achieve, join us and be the next one who's got more stones.